Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to show you how you can disable the creation of private and shared channels in Microsoft Teams. So this is actually something that uh, team owners can control uh, within their own team settings. But what I'm about to describe in this particular video is how you as a SharePoint or Teams administrator can prevent uh, essentially the creation of both of these channels globally for all teams. Uh, so by default, any team owner can uh, create private and shared channels. In addition to standard channels, of course, private and shared channels, they create their own site. And in some cases, uh, maybe that's not what you want to happen. Uh, maybe you don't want uh, your team owners, team members to create additional um, you know, private and shared channels and create additional sites this way. So essentially you want all the channels just to be standard channels, okay? That would be the only option. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, for this uh, to work, you need to be a Teams administrator, right? So you do need access to the Teams admin center. So essentially, once again, just to show you what we are going to do is disable the creation of private and shared channels. So this two options will be eliminated once we tweak the setting. So let me show you how to do that. Uh, once again, you do need to be the Teams admin. Uh, so we are going to navigate to the admin portal. And of course, this is the global uh, Microsoft 365 admin portal. We need to go to Teams admin portal. And once in Teams, um, essentially, we just need to tweak. It's a very quick setting that we need to tweak on the Teams policies. So let's wait till it loads over here. On the Teams, you click on Teams policies. So by default, you only have one policy uh, called org-wide. And you can actually tweak it, or you can create your own policy. But for the purpose of this video, let's just tweak this one. So you just click on the default org white policy and essentially this policy applies to all the uh, you know essentially users in your tenant and over here on the right side you see this few options all right and essentially yeah we can just disable by default it's on we can disable them and click apply uh, it takes some time uh, all right for the policy to take effect uh, i don't want to disable private and shared channels in my environment uh, so I'll click cancel, but you would just click apply. And essentially what's going to happen after some time, uh, the policy will be applied to all the teams and uh, all the users. And once uh, essentially, once you go back in teams after some time, you will see that uh, these two options uh, you know, essentially would disappear. And the only type of channel that uh, essentially team owners, team members will be able to create is the standard uh, type of channel. Unlike private and shared channels, standard channel does not create a separate site. So that's good. Essentially just creates a folder within, um, you know, the default site that's created uh, for each and every standard channel. All right. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this uh, particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, um, you know, thanks for visiting SharePointMaven.com and thanks for watching this video. Goodbye.